welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Wednesday, February 25th, 2015. Let's get to it. Last week, the world of sports nearly imploded when it was announced that Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao will finally square off this upcoming May for the fight of the century. But it's a colossal showdown in the women's physique division next weekend that has the bodybuilding world abuzz. New photos surfaced this week of a shredded Dana Lynn Bailey, who's heading into next weekend's festivities looking to reassert herself as the queen of physique as she squares off against reigning Miss Olympia, Juliana Malacarney. Bailey looks to be running on all cylinders, but recent sightings indicate that Malacarney's look might just be unbeatable at this point in time. In the past, names like Branch Warren, Jay Cutler, Jason Ha, and most recently, Cody Montgomery have announced their presence to the bodybuilding world at the NPC Teen Nationals before going on to become bona fide stars in their own right. And at last year's competition, that next great star to emerge just might be Mohamed Abarajo. Abarajo won the Teen Nationals light heavyweight class in convincing fashion before finishing in the runner-up spot behind three-time champ Cody Montgomery in the overall. But after a very productive offseason, and with Montgomery graduating out of the team division, the title looks to be Abarajo's for the taking. Coming off a very disappointing sixth place finish that saw him get knocked off the Olympia throne, Mark Anthony looks like he's ready to wage war on the competition in 2015. Anthony released a few progress photos recently showing off the shredded six pack that made him famous and turned him into the king of men's physique just two years ago. Heading into Columbus, Anthony has to be considered one of the favorites to emerge from the jumbled mix at the top of the men's physique division. But if he's going to overtake the likes of Sadiq Hodzevic, Michael Anderson, Jason Poston, and Anton Antipoth, he better rekindle his championship flame and pull out all the stops between here and Columbus. While the odds are shifted heavily towards another dominant performance from Miss Olympia Ashley Kaltwasser at the upcoming Bikini International, that doesn't appear to be stopping India Paulino from doing her best to shock the world with a major upset. Paulino has been in the gym, putting in some serious work lately as she tries to push herself through the final stages of contest prep and bring out what she hopes to be her championship best. Fans might remember that just two years ago, Paulino came into Columbus like a whirlwind and swept the competition. And this time around, she's hoping that history repeats itself once again. After knocking on the door of the IFBB Pro ranks twice last year, Sean Lindo is back in action looking to make sure that this time around, that knock doesn't go unanswered. Last year, Lindo narrowly missed out on his pro card at the NPC USA Championships when he took second in a very competitive heavyweight class behind winner Frank Stinson, and then went on to take fifth in one of the best NPC Nationals competitions that we've seen in recent memory. If Lindo can manage to recreate the same level of conditioning that we saw at last year's USA's, Coupled with a few minor off-season improvements, 2015 could very well be the last time he finds himself competing on an amateur stage. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. Brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.